So I'm following through with the idea that the misinformation that was put out rumored that the class was murdered. And uh, you need to listen to the previous recording in this series. Um, because I'm not going to repeat all that. But uh, <clears throat> as is if you want a, a realistic answer to that question, uh, that idea. Um, but I'm the evidence that we weren't because uh, basically, I, like I said, I wanted to lay down my life. I wanted to uh, die for uh, the next level, for uh, Tian Do. And what I recognized was uh, die because I thought it made me special. And that's the part that uh, I still had a big chunk of. T told me that that would keep me off the spacecraft wanting to be seen as special. And, uh, and he told me also uh, that um, I was a little too pleased with myself. And she told me that um, I was sarcastic uh, with humans at work. So I guess sarcasm was a form of uh, maybe being judgmental, maybe, you know. Uh, but the way that came across, I think, was that uh, yeah, I was being uh, uh, arrogant, I think it might be the word for it. Uh, I didn't really think I was vibrating like that, but like when they, when, when the cooks would use, uh, you know, swear words and stuff, I would say, you know, they have to swear. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> Can you imagine that? I, I cook now, you know, uh, in restaurants sometimes. So, uh, and I don't use swear words, really. Uh, I mean, I might once in a while use some word. But it's not, it's not really a swear word like uh, don't forswear yourself, like Jesus said. That was, a, you know, everything Jesus said was distorted. Everything. But it doesn't mean that uh, there's not, the truth isn't there. It's, it's there, but it's the way people think about it that's become distorted. So, the class was not murdered. Uh, Tien Do at first uh, didn't think we'd be losing our physical bodies. And then they wondered if, uh, if we would lose our physical bodies or, or the next level. They didn't know if the next level would pick us up with our physical bodies. They didn't know why the next level would need our physical bodies. But they were open to the possibility that uh, the next level might choose to take our physical bodies. And the fact is, the next level could have chosen to uh, take our physical bodies. Uh, let, uh, let's say the scenario went with Revelations 11 to where um, Tian Do uh, blew the trumpet, basically announced who they were at the meeting that they had, and ended up... Uh, uh, holding other meetings just like they did in 1975 and let's say it became a big national thing to where uh, they were really hunted for and stuff and they weren't found because the next level was seeing to it that they weren't found and uh, and um, people continued to walk out of their lives you know uh, to where then Tian Do decided that they would hold one big meeting for everybody and they would hold a big meeting and that's what they told us to look out for and in that meeting uh, they ex expected to be killed as it says in the uh, in the words of the two witness testimony uh, in not testimony the two witnesses in chapter 11 of revelations in the history book uh, of, that was John's presumably a, a disciple of Jesus, his dreams uh, or understandings or visions or daydreams, whatever they were, astral traveling, if you want to call it that. Um, uh, anyway, so it could have went that way and they could have been literally killed and uh, we don't know what the reason would be that they would be left in the city, they would be killed in the city street, but see, 
If you look at some of my other videos, you'll see that those words can all be also mean something else. But what I'm saying is that it could have actually gone in that direction to match exactly the way the words were. So they, so they would be coming out of this meeting right after it maybe, uh, and someone would shoot them in the street, okay? And all the cameras would be there because they would have been there for the meeting. And so uh, they're all there and they're watching and they're stunned. And the next level uh, does something so that they can't do anything to the body. They can't move the bodies. Who knows? Next level might put down a corridor that protects them, so that they, and and they and they would be trying to scientists would be trying to figure out why they can't get to those bodies. And then all of a sudden, three and a half days would pass, and and all of a sudden they get up on their feet and uh, and and they uh, uh, they physically uh, go up into a cloud, into the clouds, into a spacecraft that we can see or we can't see. That's like a New Jerusalem. I mean, that's 1,500 square miles, or you know, which is that, that physical spacecraft that's in this vicinity. Uh, like I was talking about in the previous video, how a next level spacecraft can be right on top of us, literally. So that, uh, if, that the members that are operating in that craft, if we bumped into them, we could feel them, potentially. Um, so, but it didn't have to go that way, because the next level doesn't plan to do things ahead of time in an absolute manner. Except the general idea. They planned in an absolute way to send two representatives, which by the way are all of the level of God. Okay? Because basically God is just a term that was used by the translators. Um, but I, I, the next level might have had a hand in, in the design of it. I wouldn't be at all surprised, um, uh, even though it's become a distortion the way people think about the term, um, it still represents to most people the creators, <coughs> even though there's these lesser gods which are basically the fallen angels and those are the space aliens according to Doe. And, uh, that, uh, so, Not that they think themselves those same individuals, because uh, their perspective is going to be uh, a little different, I think, than what they are. But the fact is, they're limited to the human kingdom and uh, the Earth vicinity at the moment, and they're looking for a way to get out. And that's why all the money is going into research and development for space travel and underground bunkers and underground cities and and uh, you know to. Try, because because they know uh, the history is that there's a recycling coming and they're, they're looking for to cover all their bets on how to have a certain amount of population survive it. So in their minds, uh, when I say they, I don't know exactly who, who's in on it, but I bet you a lot of people with a lot of money are in, in on it because they wanted that money to be able to uh, uh, hire people and, and keep people quiet. And do you know do the the, the follow up on things when they leak and you know have what was called the MJ12 was considered to be the, the first little group, but uh, but that's all you know pretty much linked to the, the same power structure the bankers and everything because uh, those same people are the ones that uh, you know produce most of the politicians and. Uh, but the, a lot of the politicians know the least. It's it's uh, the very wealthy and of course the military and the uh, the intelligence community and the department, the, you know, the, the Pentagon is where uh, um, uh, I believe most, and that's who's actually running the show, the Pentagon. Interesting that it's a five star star and it's considered to be Luciferian, because it is. It's totally Luciferian driven. And uh, Luciferian being the renegades. And what are they renegading from? That, that they can't just do what they want. And they can't just murder people. And they can't just uh, uh, tox toxify the environment. And they can't just run, wreak havoc without uh, payment. 
for their crimes. The next level has a way of uh, giving them that payment. Um, now, to those that don't know any better, that's up to the next level what to do with those. And they, they may end up just becoming, uh, uh, you know, going into another form of energy. But the only ones they're going to save genetically and uh, um, the souls of are those that they believe can serve them in two ways. One, to be fertilizer, and the other to potentially be seeded uh, by next level mind uh, for uh, potential new membership, which includes uh, seeding the vehicles and, uh, and bringing back the souls that have been introduced to this information in a prior time, which is right now for many people. Um, so the task right now, uh, given by Doe, was to disseminate, primarily, was to disseminate the information. That's what's most important. So, uh, um, I mean, uh, overcoming is necessary. Um, and there's nothing holding anybody back from overcoming everything according to what they feel led to do and uh, and beginning to give their all to the next level in whatever way that form, shape or you know any way that takes I mean if you're in a situation to where everybody around you is uh, living a human mammalian existence uh, and is, is thriving on a certain amount of sensual pr pleasure in, in all the forms that it comes in, you know, in career pursuits and in uh, being, you know, getting recognition for accomplishments for in, in any field and uh, um, you know, substance use, uh, you know, or abuse. You know, of course, there's, 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 everything has got its abuse to it and everything has its uh, ramifications. And the ramifications affect us physically and mentally and affect others physically and mentally. So uh, that's um, nothing stopping. But uh, if we're not actually spreading the information that we got from Tian Do, in their words, as much as possible. Um, but, but, but the intent, uh, more so than the words, I believe, Although, um, we don't need to try to be creative. Um, and that's a lesson that is also hard for me. I wanted to be creative with, uh, you know, because it was an experience giving people this information. Like I, I spoke at meetings, many meetings, uh, public meetings that we had, both in 75 and in uh, but more so in uh, 1994, when we spent nine and a half months uh, traveling around the U.S. and giving meetings in most major cities um, around the U.S. and Canada. Well, we tried to give a meeting in British Columbia, but uh, I don't know. I don't think it came off. Came off. <laughs> I was the one there, so no, it didn't come off. But anyway, so. I want to get to this other thing though before I get on to this. Uh, the cla there's this other uh, rumor that the government was creating a mind control product uh, a project, um, and uh, the class was that project. So that it was run by the intelligence community, the CIA or somebody, which it was not, absolutely not. Uh, the FBI was looking for Team Doe to question them uh, early on in 1975. Uh, we know that as a fact because they came to one of the meetings where Tien Do was speaking, and and went to, and but uh, but I don't know exactly how it happened, but uh, they ended up speaking to uh, two of the new students, I believe Logodi and maybe Sunodi, because they were partners at that time, and uh, and uh, or it could have been Dan Sodi and Windodi. Um, or it could have been Flexody and uh, Echody. Those are the three partnerships that traveled with Tian Do the most at that point, early on. And uh, 
Not all of them ended up staying. But anyway, I'm not going to go through that. But uh, but the, but the, what the, what they were told was that they wanted the, they were curious about uh, the cattle mutilations and wanted to know where we were at given points. Because uh, this was in this was in Colorado actually, or, or was Oklahoma or Colorado where they the FBI came to one of their meetings. So T and Doe went out the back door because. Uh, they weren't really looking forward to uh, being killed, as in Revelations 11 says. It wasn't like a death wish. It didn't make them into, you know, verify to them that they were who they said they were. Um, although I can imagine that their vehicles might have uh, um, thought about that. Because uh, the brain, you know, they had to overcome their human brain, just like we had to overcome all the patterns and and uh, ways of thinking and and uh, that uh, that we experience. And I say we because I basically there was a, a soul that was trying to take over my vehicle, okay, and I was I was wanting that to happen. So me, the soul that's in this vehicle wanted to be taken over by this other soul. I didn't think about it like that. T kept on saying, get your mind in your vehicle, get your mind in your vehicle. Who are we talking to? We're talking to the minds that are outside the vehicle that were brought back to do this task. That's who I want to make... Uh, you want to make their mind dominant because their mind uh, had everything they experienced the last time the older member was there. Where the, my genetic mind that came from uh, my body and the new soul seed pocket that was given to this vehicle to, to be able to accumulate its own next level mind in um, the new wine and the new wine needs a new wine skin. So the new wine skin is the soul given to us, the pocket, the container, as Team Bill called it, and uh, and the information. Uh, the frequency of the information is actually a mind communication. And that, that becomes part of our memory system uh, in that soul pocket. But also the vehicle remembers that too. The brain of the, uh, stores that. And so it basically goes to both places. But uh, um, in the vehicle that I occupy. So when I, when I talk like that, so how do you know who's who? It can be confusing, and it's normal to be confused about this at first. Uh, but don't let it fr fr uh, fluster you or, or freak you out or anything. Just if you don't understand something, realize that time will uh, reveal it to you. Uh, just proceed uh, in the direction of Tindo and... Uh, and when you, you know, have a question about it, ask the question and go about realizing that you will get an answer. Uh, if some, and if you don't get an answer, it's, it's either the phone might have been busy. You can ask again. The phone might have been busy. You know, that's the way Team Bill used to talk about it, that they're not always on the line every second. Now, I bet there's more than one form of communication to where if, if we uh, if we send out send out a, a plea for our life or something for the physical life of the vehicle, uh, uh, they might they might hear that. But when you're actually talking to your older member, uh, maybe it is that that they actually uh, hear you, and so they're not on the phone. But it doesn't mean that there's not members of the next level in the invisible that uh, are attending to what they've been given instructions to attend to for us. So if we ask a question that they know the answer to, and uh, then they'll give it to us. And um, so it was a mind. So this is the way the Luciferians twisted because it was a mind control pro project. The mind control. See what humans don't recognize is that they are a mind control project. Because the space aliens know this is how the garden works. And knows there's this invisible world. It's not a mystery to them. And knows that there are individuals that come from other planets. 
that, that could potentially be here and have an agenda to be here. Uh, they want things that humans have, you know, uh, uh, genetic materials, you know, fluids and, and sperm and eggs and, and uh, an environment for producing uh, offspring and, uh, you know, and, and uh, uh, elements, certain elements that this planet has. And, uh, and, and certain power supplies that this planet has, and uh, and facilities that humans would create uh, spacecrafts that they could then get those humans to uh, to join up with them uh, to to look for a new location to where they can go if it looks like this planet uh, is about to go through a recycling. Because for all intents and purposes, it, uh, a recycling will look to the weeds as the planet's going to basically uh, become an empty shell, as I said, in the, you know, or, or like a moon. It would be desolate of, uh, of life, life that we know about. Although perhaps the frequency stays there. Perhaps the spirit world stays there. Imagine if you were in the spirit world and you had no way to express yourself or satisfy your spiritual cravings. So, like while you're while we're living, if we set we we have a habit that we have to have this and we have to have that, or we're not happy, then when we die, we will our, our program that we programmed by our actions, which includes the thinking of those about those actions, you know, uh, um, the analysis of it, but but. Um, you know, engaging with others in the analysis of uh, scripture or the analysis of uh, an art painting or, uh, or you know, of anything. Uh, that is a big sensuous um, experience. And <clears throat> uh, so it's not just sex. You know, you know, power and ego is uh, as big or, or bigger potentially, I guess, because in a sense, that's what brought Lucifer down. The quest for that, right? They said that he was he went in competition with the next level. They said he didn't need the next level. Uh, he he could go he could bypass the next level and accomplish the same things that the next level was accomplishing. And uh, and there's some dropouts of the classroom of Tian Do that I believe tend to think this way. I, I have some evidence of that. <coughs> so.